I was a bad girl one time. And now I'm gonna pay for what I did forever and ever and ever. I should have done what I was told. I should have been more careful. I shouldn't have defied Mr. Creel. That's why he did this to me. I'd been alone for so long. But then, one day, I had a visitor. His name was Calypso. He said he could make it all better. He said we were gonna play a game. It was the key. The only one that could open my mask. Seven years I'd been locked away inside my doll face. If I won the contest, I'd get the key. But I've been so bad. Do I really deserve to be free? for hours and the whole time I was having this really scary dream I dreamed about my boss Mr. Creel working on those creepy masks he used to make it was my first real job after college I didn't want to screw it up I wanted Mr. Creel to like me but then this one day I made a terrible mistake. I didn't mean to upset him. I didn't mean to be so clumsy. But I was just so stupid. I could feel the nails crushing the mask down on my face. And to make sure the mask stayed on tight, Mr. Creel made a weird looking key. He said it would make sure the mask would never come off. Now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't all my fault. I had won the contest, and now I was gonna be free. I went to see Calypso, I told him I wanted my prize. But you know what? There's always a price to pay for something you really, really want. If I took the key, Mr. Creel was gonna die. Why couldn't he just have been nice to me? Now that I had the key, I didn't want it anymore. I like my new face now, much better than the old one. It doesn't cry and it doesn't look scared and it'll always be pretty, even when I'm old and gray inside. There's a whole lot of people in the world just like Mr. Creel. Someone has to show them that they can't do bad stuff to people like me.